Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the EISL, powered by Coca-Cola with associate sponsor Hero, esports partner Norman Gaming, platform partner PlayStation, and digital collectible partner Terra Virtua. My name is Warren Super Johnny John. I'm going to be your host for the day, joined by Azim and Fixes as we head towards, well, the last game that will be played in the EISL. Ladies and gentlemen, the ticket to FGS is here. And one of the two boys that will be competing today will get the opportunity to, well, participate in the FGS. Yeah, it's a huge honor. I mean, the FGS is the premier FIFA tournament worldwide and everybody uh, who plays this game competitively, that's the dream, right? That's what you want. And it's been such a long journey for them, for us, the last four months, the, the highs and lows of just the last couple of days uh, for the boys from Chennai and FC, Naveen and uh, Saranj. And uh, now it's finally here. They've uh, got the money in the bank and uh, now it's all about the, the glory. Well, let's have a look at the brackets though. As you, as you mentioned, the journey that these lads have had in the last few days itself. Well, yesterday we saw sort of a big part of it come to a conclusion with the yeah. finals happening against Mumbai City FC and Chennai FC taking the win in the last co-op game where both these two players, Saranj and Naveen, had to perform together in tandem to get the win. Well, today it's time to face your brother. You know, this is the anime betrayal that we were yes. talking about right from the very start, right? You have been living with each other for four months, you know, you've shared all those secret strategies, everything, you know, that you've got to do to take down your opponent. And likewise, yesterday also, you know, Naveen was the one who was, you know, calling the shots uh, to go up against Mumbai City FC. He could find all those gaps, he could find all those nooks and crannies, and uh, now he knows uh, how Saranj could be vulnerable, and uh, the, the same goes with Saranj. Now, of course, you've got that experience uh, yeah. factor coming in with Saranj, but lately, Naveen has been on a whole different level. I mean, exactly. Nami, Naveen has shows continuous improvement but Saranj, talking about him, I mean, as we have garnered him as one of the best in the SEA region entirely, uh, do you think, Azim, along with that, I mean, along with being called the best, we always expect him to perform and Saranj, because of that, might feel some pressure today, like he's expected to win this. Yeah, I mean, uh, from the start of the tournament, he's not really looked like that, that devastating Saranj. Like, he's just been, he's done enough yeah. throughout the tournament to get the job done and obviously winning the EISL uh, while doing enough. <laughs> Still a good achievement, uh, you'd have to say. But, uh, yeah, for him, he's going up against... Uh, Obviously, a teammate who uh, he has given a lot of support to early yeah. on in this tournament. He's given him a lot of advice and tips and tricks. And uh, well, now is he going to be regretting uh, sharing <laughs> all his uh, strengths and weaknesses with his teammate? That's that's the question. I mean, it can be a double-edged sword uh, just being together for so long. Cause I mean. Throughout the four months, I'm pretty sure these lads have always been saying like we're taking this one game at a time, one match at a time. So they were focused on the games that were just uh, about to start for them. But, I mean, somewhere in the back of their head, somewhere in the subconscious, they knew this moment would come. And do you think pictures like during those four months, some secret black book was kept with every single strategy being noted down, every single mistake of Naveen's being noted down by Saranj? No, that, that's the thing, right? It's not a long list because Naveen hasn't really been making a lot of mistakes, right? Yep. Now, yesterday also, it was quite literally proved uh, him becoming the MVP of yeah. this tournament. Clearly the find, clearly that one player that you have to search out for that has been uh, taking it to a whole different level. Now, you're talking about uh, Saranj uh, stacked up against him right now. Now, Saranj, the kind of expectations that we have uh, from him were clearly not met. He did his job done, yeah. but this, this is where Naveen comes in, right? The local boy, Haley from Chennai, representing Chennai in FC, coming in and suddenly surprising everybody. I mean, he was good, but this good, we never thought, right? Now, yeah. he's just getting better with every passing day because even yesterday, if you take a look at uh, the matchup, he was the one who saved it, right? Uh, because yes. had he lost his uh, individual matchup there against Tikka, then it was all curtains uh, for uh, Chennai and FC. We would have seen the uh, Mumbai City FC uh, going up against each other today. So, Naveen had been the hero throughout uh, the entire ISL and that, that is a feeling where you get acknowledged by one of the best players in South Asia and that is quite an achievement but I, th I don't think he's going to settle at just that. I mean definitely both of them are going to be uh, uh, keeping their eyes set on the ticket to FGS uh, that we have right here. Uh, but Azim, you were quite mesmerized by the performance that Naveen was able to pull out with his R9 yesterday. Yeah. Uh, how important do you think it's going to be for Saranj to figure out a way to shut that down? Well, I mean, Saranj will, will know what he needs to do, but whether you can uh, tame the beast uh, oh. within Naveen, that's that's a different question altogether because he's been so explosive in that final third, just like going through one defender, two defender, yeah. three defenders. It doesn't <laughs> seem to matter to, to Naveen right now. But 
Let's see. I mean, going up, this is the first time we're getting to watch this matchup in the four months that we've been covering the EISL. Obviously, we've never seen uh, the teammates going up against each other. So, for both of them, I mean, it's it's going to be a fascinating, fascinating battle. It is definitely going to be fan uh, fascinating. It is going to be exciting. But let's hear what the players have to say about the fact that they will be facing each other right now. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us, it is going to be the two lads, two wonderful lads, Saranch and Naveen. Uh, Naveen, starting off with you, how are you, fe how are you feeling going up against Saranch right now? Right now, <laughs> as I said yesterday, it's like it's gonna be a very cagey match because he knows what I'm gonna do, I know what he's gonna do, so it'll be like bo both of us like getting one chance. I think, like, I guess the ticker know what happened, it'll be like that one chance or two chances which will change the game. Like, and uh, Saranj, for you, have my first question is gonna be usually when friends compete among amongst each other in friendlies, it's different, but this time <laughs> it's just uh, it's on a stage. So have you guys decided to just go all out, just keep everything on the uh, within the game and just compete at a be at the best of your abilities? Yeah, definitely. I think like I heard you guys mention yesterday that like you know when we're, we're not teammates for today, but that's not the case. I think oh. we're gonna be teammates always. <laughs> I think he's always gonna be my brother. But yeah, in the game, like when we're focused, it's going to be in the game, right? After the game, I'm sure we'll both be celebrating no matter what the result is. So, you know, let's see how it goes. All right. Uh, so this is where, you know, it comes down to preparations, right? So after the event yesterday, did you go back home and uh, you know, get back to your um, drawing boards, you know, t think about the strategies to take uh, Saranj down? And uh, likewise, uh, even for you, Saranj, because Naveen has uh, def been the revelation in this tournament so far. So he's definitely not going to be that easy to beat, right? Yeah, definitely. I think I, I played a couple of friendlies at night. Usually, uh, I'm playing with Naveen, but this time I couldn't. Yeah. So, I played a couple of games with other people. So, I, I'm kind of prepared, kind of not. Like, there's no proper preparation you can do to face your own teammate, right? So, yeah. what about you, you know. Yeah, I mean, I uh, have a quick question for Naveen. Uh, so, Saranch is wearing his lucky hoodie today. Uh, did you make any attempt <laughs> last night to maybe steal it, put it in the laundry so that he doesn't have it for today? <laughs> No, actually, I gave him the jersey because he doesn't have a <laughs> larger size, so, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I've done something to the jersey, so I hope it works. <laughs> Hopefully it works, or maybe, I mean, Saranj is like, alright, this is this is mine, take it, I'm gonna win now. <laughs> this is your lucky hoodie getting covered up. Did you guys decide on a particular, uh, uh, like, usually, in, in when you're going up against your friends, you're gonna be like, I'll score five goals against you. That's that's pretty easy for me uh, to do. Was that some sort of banter between you two before you came for the match? All right, let's see who's the best right now. We have won everything now. It's just you and me, buddy. Okay. I think Naveen keeps a lot of possession. So I told him that, you know, like I won't let you have the ball that much. <laughs> generally, I've, I'm generally like, I prefer a fast me up like nothing. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to play slow. So let's see. Hopefully it works out. So, Naveen, uh, by what scoreline do you plan on beating Saranj tonight? <laughs> I'll be happy if it's 5-0, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, nice. 5-0. Right. Yeah. And for you, Saranj, what do you have to say <laughs> about that? I think I'll try to keep like 70% possession against him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about goals, man. Uh, possession, yeah. It's no, we don't need to score goals. Yeah, We'll just keep the ball and chill out. <laughs> possession against him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about <laughs> goals, man. Uh, possession, yeah. It, no, we don't need to score goals. Yeah, we'll Naveen and Saranj, thank you so much for joining us for this interview. Good luck to just keep the ball and chill out. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? Game management again, <laughs> yeah. even before the match. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So, the target for Saranj. Naveen and Saranj, thank you so much for joining us for this interview. Good luck to both of you for this match that is about to happen. And once again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So, w the target for Saranj is 70% possession and for Naveen is five goals. Yeah, it's uh, the mind game's clearly <laughs> beginning over there. <laughs> will be interesting. I mean, for all you know, we'll see Saranj having no possession and just playing on the counter-attack. <laughs> so, small mind games, you'd have to say. And uh, I think uh, for Saranj, it will be that even though the, the MVP prize and everything is all wrapped up, but I think just for that psychological edge, he would want to score uh, those few more goals than Naveen. 
and say you know what for that extra banter i still scored more goals than you and and more than that you know it's a chance to represent yeah. uh, um, yourself in fgs right what could be bigger than this right it's the pre uh, event of it all every fifa competitive player somewhere down the line has been eyeing out for it now this is saran who has always been in that sort of a zone right he's uh, he's been the one who's represented uh, even in there on multiple occasions and uh, this time with navin a uh, coming in out of nowhere you know his first major big tournament yeah. and here he is uh, all um, you know all basking in that mvp glory and i think uh, this is going to be such an interesting uh, uh, fixture all together because it's just that one match up ideally we're accustomed to see two leagues but now we just having this one match up which decides the fate of these two players I mean, definitely. And uh, Azim, we do have the stats in front of us, but how do you reckon these two lads compare against each other? I mean, we all we have always talked about uh, what Naveen looked like, be uh, be it against uh, another club that he was competing yeah. with, but never we ha have we compared him against his own teammate. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's very, very close the head to head. I mean, just the two goals uh, to to separate them across the tournament. Uh, but I think Naveen, as Saranj pointed out yesterday as well, the guy who has uh, been the hardest to beat. uh he's uh, probably lost the fewest games uh, in the in the EISL all throughout and uh, been that guy who when he can't win he manages to grind out that draw so he gets the result he gets the job done and uh, that's what uh, wow well, first time they having to give the good luck across the table to each <laughs> oh. other A strange feeling for them yeah. i'm sure but i'm sure we're just uh, moments away from kick off now for uh, what's going to be an absolute cracker of a match they look like they're worried about each other in this <laughs> Yeah. I, I think this is this is uh, as the old saying goes right uh, you, it's the best friend that hurts the most when you go up against uh, him so of course they have had their rivalries they've got that drama everything it was such a roller coaster right but it all comes down to this match up these are 90 minutes are going to decide the fate of their of the players playing right now we do have navin of course in chennai in fc jersey with the blue one spotting it from left to right on a uh, response we do have saranj in his white from right to left and uh, navin he's been the one maintaining a lot of possession and uh, the first task at hand for saranj would be to reclaim it back yeah absolutely let's see if uh, navin tries to give up or will give up any possession to saranj and uh, oh almost managing to get that ball back so i do expect as they said for it to be quite a kg affair i don't think we're going to see a particularly high scoring match just because But these players know each other so well i mean they know absolutely everything inside out and uh, obviously they've played so many friendlies against each other in preparation and here we see getting into the box over there but uh, well read you would have to say there by saranj not allowing uh, navin to get that shot away but uh, taking his time now uh, to build up as he said wants to keep that possession and uh, has given it away a little cheaply in these opening uh, minutes a couple of times but now He'll be looking to just uh, hog that ball as much as he can. <laughs> Try to tempt Naveen yeah. into into pressing him, and see if he can uh, capitalize on a mistake. You know, th this is where Naveen really thrives, right? He knows uh, if the opponent, uh, what the opponent is trying to execute, and instantly has a countermeasure for the same. But this time, we do have Saranj trying to build the attack up. He's been maintaining uh, quite some possession there. He wants to get a little bit deadly. Already, we have seen those attacking instincts from Naveen right away with the start of the game. He wants to go big and he wants to do it really fast. Yeah, and there you go. The high press from Naveen and a cheap giveaway from Saranj over here and Naveen on R9. That's not. slight cut back to uh, to the bullet uh, in the in the midfield but uh, yeah you can see uh, uh, saranj over here pressing very hard you want to see running at you a big chance over here he gets in the box with uh, zidane can he find a pass bump off the ball and now has the opportunity to shoot decides not to take it goes with maradona now and hullet very tight very congested over here and this is where we're seeing both players uh, cancelling each other out oh yeah and uh, you know this is getting exciting as ever right whatever they are trying to put on the table uh, the other one knows how to counter it and how to deal with it but sirwan this is it right this is the moment that when he has to unleash the beast within because it's the last match up of the isl they played numerous games and we have been sort of missing that deadly sirwan such a right occasion to come out right he's lost on that mvp race surely does not want to miss out on the golden ticket but navin uh, 
boy oh boy he is one of those players who does not want to give it away now playing from the wings now this is really good movement coming in with maradona oh. has to dribble past the defender does that beautifully just to mess it up at the very end uh, had the pass gone through i was looking at a one nil from the yeah but again uh, saranj able to read what he's doing i mean these guys we yeah. then not just the fact that they've of course been teammates the fact that they've played co-op together as well uh, adds that additional layer of knowing you know what the other players thinking uh, at all times because they've they've been in attack together they've been in defense together they know exactly how the other operates so going to be very very uh, kg but very good quality football being played over here between these two players trying again to find r9 that that seems to be the go to tactic for navin just trying to get that ball to r9 at every given opportunity because he knows once he gets into that flow he can just beat defenders and get that shot away saranj now you can see it is that uh, that possession hog tactic that we, he was talking about he doing a good job with it so far oh yeah uh, i think uh, both the players uh, they've done a decent job but it would be such a shame if it ends in a penalty shootout right oh. but this is a good chance for saranj oh. goes for it almost done it and there you have it chennai in fc saranj chen getting the breakthrough over at the 30th minute and uh, it was the confidence that he needed the cojones to take a shot from that angle and succeeded getting that early breakthrough putting Naveen under tremendous pressure ideally the keeper that we have in contention Vandesa does not tend to miss shots like that but on this occasion out of every single day as he this had to be the one where he concedes that a goal like this is going to break Naveen's heart yeah i think the shot took a bit of a deflection as well which is what uh, made it a little bit more complicated for the keeper to save but no time for uh, Naveen to think about it of course he's uh, got a half and something to do something ab- about the score line and uh, we have seen navin come back from a goal down plenty of times before but now in a game as tight as this it just took that one opening for saranj to create the opportunity he has had one chance and he has taken it and that's really what has made him one of those most feared uh, players in the southeast asian region but now getting forward is navin what a finish with zidane into the corner as well and you wouldn't have expected him to take that shot on but he does and suddenly one all everything to play for and navin right back in it the smile just seems to have vanished on both the corners we have i mean just before that they were all in smiles everyone happy and once he wears a goal down navin knew that this was the moment where he had to get his game face on clearly could see them both focused now it is one each a piece for both these lads out here 40 minutes in do we get to see one more goal being scored by either of the players before the end of the first half now that's a big question but for what we've really seen navin that was such a good comeback right and this has happened quite often in uh, the isl suddenly you feel like you've got that one goal lead and you would be wanting uh, to calm yourself down settle the dust a little bit and that's the moment you get strike that's the moment you tend to concede a goal this could have been a really really brutal break had saranj gotten uh, himself onto it but uh, thankfully the keeper coming out and uh, making sure that uh, gets the job done and navin now oh. this could be a really good break with mbappe has to get the perfect control beat the goalkeeper oh. but no no how on earth did ruben diaz make that save saraj jain <laughs> Oh my goodness and what a poetic moment over there Navin doing to Saranj what Saranj has done to so many countless opponents throughout this EISL sitting the keeper down with a shot cancel but Saranj knew because that's his move that's what he does and he knew to get the defender back on the cover two clearances off the line over there absolutely fantastic stuff oh <laughs> I would have I'm not even kidding if I said I almost broke the sofa over here with that last miss but look at this goal this was so mesmerizing just to watch you know going out to the far post a little bit of finesse there and Naveen knew I think uh, from the first half what we can really take is Naveen has been the better player right he's been creating the better chances he's been really crafty but boy oh boy we have seen uh, Maldini in those positions today was Ruben Diaz for Saranj but he managing to just save him from the cusps of getting a uh, a goal down uh, now again we enter into the second half the final half of the EISL ladies and gentlemen and this is going to decide 
who is going to get all the glory. Both these players, they've managed to win those for win that 15 lakh rupees. Naveen has managed to secure that extra 4 lakhs and that NFT from Terra Virtua. But this is the golden ticket that we are talking about that is on the line. And Saran Shed being really prolific, starting to get look very deadly. But uh, at the same time, you know, Saran Shed, in fact, Naveen, looking very alert and steady on his defense, not letting it through. Yeah, very cheap giveaway there from Naveen and Saranj, you could see, trying to play that ball early. Not able to get that pass the way he wanted it. Uh, bit of pressure on the ball. Uh, but uh, yeah, Saranj has to avoid those uh, situations just like we saw at the end of the first half where he overcommits those uh, those fullbacks of his and then leaves acres of space in behind. And that has been one of the weaknesses that a lot of players have tended to exploit for Saranj. That he leaves, he tends to get those fullbacks forward, leave a little bit of gap in the middle, but now Big opportunity, slides in Maradona on the weaker foot, trying to get it onto that stronger left foot, but still, I think hesitated a little too much over there and yeah. the chance is gone for Saranj. He, uh, usually you would have expected to just uh, have that shot taken, but Saranj, probably the occasion, probably the nerves also getting to him as well. Uh, not playing that instinctive, instinctive finish that we would have really expected him to. Oh yeah, but right now we've got to see if Naveen has something to counter-attack him, if he's got something uh, to, you know, try and get a score in the early phases of the second half as he is uh, dribbling past, but uh, Saranj making sure that he does not get away. So one of those things that I've really noticed over here is Naveen is utilizing oh. a lot of the corners and what a goal was that hitting the crossbar out of nowhere with his signature R9. Oh, Naveen, you beauty. Is this the goal, Azim, that could decide the fate of Naveen in the ISL, giving him that golden ticket that we have been talking about so often? Oh, my goodness. I did not expect him to take the shot on from there. But the confidence that he seems to have with that R9 and that finishing. But now, Saranj is in. Shortly has to score. Sits the keeper down and it's back again. It's 2-all. This is blow by blow. The trading blows right now. It's like a boxing match. And it is all happening over here. Well, what happened to that KG game we were expecting? It's suddenly 2-all. Suddenly, a huge slip through the defense, you know, letting Saranj that sort of room and space. He's bound to attack. He's bound to punish you for that. I'm pretty sure Naveen must be kicking himself in the foot for letting that go by. Ideally, on any other occasion, he could have defended it so easily. But this is something uh, that has happened with a lot of players, right? They tend to get a little bit complacent about the fact that, you know, they just scored a goal. They're on a whole different high. The adrenaline is kicking in and suddenly you let a goal like that pass in through and somewhere down the line it is going to come back and uh, bite him for sure because you do not give Saran Shed that sort of a room and opportunity because every single time he does get that, he will capitalize. Now Naveen, I really believe, has to get back into playing uh, from the edges and that is the go-through strategy that has been working out for him. But Saran's trying to just dribble across the defenders and that, that has been his style of play. We've seen him getting that flick uh, around and that is something that, has, that Naveen has been watching out for so long. But if you give that much amount of room and space, then uh, you're bound to get uh, clobbered for that. I yeah, wonder if Saranj might think about that long shot with Maradona over here. This time just trying to bait uh, Naveen into making that mistake. Fires that ball into R9. This time it's the opportunity. Gives up the opportunity to take the shot. And Naveen is on the back foot over here. He's not willing to make that tackle. And that could be a big, big chance over here. Still an open goal. But Naveen somehow recovers. And over there it just felt like uh, Saranj was unwilling to take that shot on. Wanted the clearer angle. Now, has Mbappe in the edge of the area with the Marseille Roulette. Uh, probably the shot might have been a better option. Again, has the opportunity to take it. And Naveen somehow managing to scramble that clear. Yeah, of course. Uh, ever since, you know, Saranj conceded that second goal, he's gotten so much more better. He's got so much more threatening. Every single second, Naveen has been on the back foot trying to defend to his dear life and making sure that he does not uh, concede any more than that. Because at a point like this, when you're hitting that 75 minutes marker, one little goal conceded, that is the end. That is the end uh, of his dreams of representing uh, himself in the FGS. And this could all end for oh, yes. the Saranj. Getting that breakthrough, making sure, gets that easy pass in to R9 and scoring it all. 77 minutes into the game and Saranj Jen, 3-2 up.
Oh, what a blockbuster match we're seeing over here. And right now here, Saranj is showing us that caliber, that killer instinct that has made him one of the most feared players in the Indian and the Southeast Asian FIFA scene. The, the composure, and there's two elements to that to that goal over there. One was the, the willingness and, and almost the, the daring ability to win that ball up, high up the pitch, try and put that tackle in, and then the composure over here to just uh, find that little dinked pass to our nine. And there was panic in defence from Naveen over there. And Saranj, he sends the blood and he has capitalised. And now he has the lead with just under 15 minutes or so to play. Oh, how does Naveen come back from this? Clearly exhausted, broken. But let's see, this is where, you know, diamonds are forged. If you can at least force an equaliser, can at least take it to extra time. Now that is something that's going on in his mind. So Raj has completely denied him the possession. Now for Saranj, this is the moment where you can be talking about ethical game management, uh, Azeem, right? This is the moment you know that if you're giving the ball away to Naveen, he's bound to score. So clearly, the, the first task for Saranj would be to reclaim the possession back, which he has done. And now this is this is what we're talking about, right? The game management coming out. He's making sure that uh, he frustrates the world out of Naveen. Uh, you know, forces him to make those mistakes which he ideally wouldn't. And this is going to get on and on. Yeah, he's just forcing Naveen to come and press him as much as he can. And uh, Naveen doesn't look like he has applied that co that uh, constant pressure press uh, option. And Saranj has to be very careful over here. It's a dangerous game to play to just try and keep that ball at the back. And he can end up giving it away, almost gave it away there to Naveen. And you can see aggressively Naveen now just trying to win that ball. And now finally he has. Will he oh, get it? No. Oh, unfortunate over there. The game physics just failing him a little bit. And he still might get that ball back. You know, Saranj is not in a comfortable position over here. Just manages to get it out. And with seven minutes on the clock, again, I think Fortune not favouring Naveen. This time, he gets the break and now will come forward. Saranj is going to aggressively try to win that ball back. Naveen just taking his time to reset. This is it. The last moment, potentially the last play of the EISL. Four months it has been this journey and it could potentially come down to this over here. Now into stoppage time. Naveen trying to get in with Cruyff. Can he fire a ball in? I think that's done. That surely is it. Saranj has got himself that golden ticket. He's heading to the FGS. What an absolutely brilliant match and a fitting end to four months of absolute entertainment here in the EISL. Oh, what a champion Saranj Jain is. You know, when it all mattered as him and Johnny, he was the one who rose up to the occasion. But this is a hero, he is a warrior, Naveen. Nothing taken away from him. That one little mistake, he even acknowledges it. And uh, that emotion just flirting out of Saranj clearly speaks volumes of how much this means to him. He has been doing this job, he has been a professional player for quite a long time, and this hug says it all. I mean, I would have loved to see a game like this every single day. This was just amazing, the goal team scored and well that one uh, saved by Ruben Diaz as well was pretty incredible so uh, yeah uh, but still Saraj 3-2 win and also take it to FGS I yeah. mean at the end of the day there can only be one king and this time yeah. that is going to be Saraj yeah clearly you know just uh, making sure he um, sort of claims his authority, you know, being the best amongst the best, right? And yeah. that is Saran Jain for you. Every single time, you know, Naveen was uh, the more consistent player. Naveen was uh, one of those players who was even looking deadly uh, by the end of the first yeah. half. But ever since the second half did come upon us, ever since Naveen scored that uh, scored that goal and suddenly he conceded that, after that, I don't think Saran left any room and space for him uh, to breathe. I think uh, he did exactly what he came in here for. And this is where we've got to agree the experience factor, you know, the, that ability to handle pressure yeah. comes in and uh, Sharan saw it through. I mean, exactly, and he, there, there were a few moments where Naveen was able to find uh, critical openings for himself but was yeah. unable to finish and that is definitely something that's going to break his heart. But what I liked about uh, the game was when it ended, you could still see the smile on Naveen's face. He knew yeah. he took a loss but it's, bro it's his brother in arms that is going to be moving forward to the FGS. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think it, for them it's a case of, okay, we won the EISL. One of us gets to be the MVP, one of us gets to go to FGS. So it's it's sort of win-win <laughs> for both players, something for everybody to take home. 
so uh, it's been a fantastic journey and what a great game that yeah, was yeah. i think in terms of both the attacking play the defensive play that we saw from saranj over there with literally last ditch two clearances off the line to keep yeah. himself in it and uh, yeah absolutely top notch entertainment over here this is the the cream of the indian fifa scene that we're seeing right uh, now uh, for now let's have a conversation again with both the boys who are yeah. going to be joining us after the clash so ladies and gentlemen please welcome once again navin and saranj after their game uh first of all navin that save that save from ruben diaz <laughs> yeah I, i don't know what to say about that like because i've gone past the keeper and you expect anyone to score a goal from there like and I, <laughs> it was like not my day i feel like but I, I, one thing will always be mean <laughs> he did it for him so it's, it's just like whatever happens it's okay i was prepared for this <laughs> whatever happens in the game like it's okay so i mean uh, navin tell us something about that uh, second goal that you can see it because uh, you know having that room and space uh, to a player like saranj and uh, he was bound to punish you so what what went wrong over there uh, it was basically the kick off like I, i messed up with my switching actually like i thought i switched to the lcb and but it was the rcb so i moved the other side so he got a lot of space and then i came in with a slight tackle but I, I, after that itself i knew it's, it's going to be goal like and he had the composure to go past the keeper so yeah i mean <laughs> it's the first goal actually yeah, because the first goal was a own goal by van der sar i think so that's what i'm more worried about like <laughs> because a oh, own goal is like not you can concede in uh, if just fine yeah well i mean sometimes that does happen but uh, for you saranj you managed to to get the win and uh, Of course, you've managed to split the individual accolades <laughs> between y'all. Uh, you got uh, the FGS ticket. Naveen gets the MVP. Uh, is this the one you would have wanted starting out? Yeah, like we had a little trash talk about the MVP. <laughs> Honestly, he got the MVP <laughs> of me by two goals. Uh, I think he was on 53. I was on 51. You're right. I was telling him before yesterday's game that don't score too many, so <laughs> I still get the goals. But yeah, like I'm very happy that. both of us got something out of it i I've, i'm heartbroken that we don't have two spots for the fgs it's um, it's kind of weird that you had to be put up against your own teammate to yeah. you know qualify but this is something i have been wanting for since i started competing so you know it's like i'm, I'm honestly lost for words navin is just like he's a great teammate and i'm so proud of him I mean uh, we all are but yeah. you know uh, Naveen of course I'm going to come back to you we know that Saranj uh, now has a lot of tournaments to prepare for but what lies next for you from here on next is the AFF so we'll I'll be preparing for that like whatever tournaments come comes on from now because I'm confident like <laughs> I can do well in the tournaments after this because this is one of the biggest tournaments in India and in this if I could prove everyone like whatever happened so I'm confident for other tournaments whatever tournament comes I'll take forward Uh, Saranj, I have a question for you because within the game we were watching. Uh, I was watching your face cam, and there were multiple <laughs> moments we just saw you take a sigh of relief. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Short miss. Oh my God! I got the ball back. So were you under a lot of pressure in this match? I so like when I got the lead, I went to OBS, which is overload ball side, which like compacts your defense. Yeah. So, I, but that drains out a lot of stamina. So yeah. my only thing was that I'll keep the ball, and as soon as I'm defending, I just need to get the ball once or twice. And that's when I was really tired. I think when, whenever I got the ball, because when he scored that R9 goal, I was like, what? Like, yeah. can you? I need to learn how to use R9 <laughs> from him. And like, he scored some insane goals with him. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, Azim has been talking about that R9 since yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it just seems like uh, particularly Naveen has such incredible <coughs> control over that card. It's been a joy to watch. But it's been a uh, massive journey now. Four months for y'all. Four months in uh, in the studios. Four months in the bubble. Four months in the hotels. Obviously, you guys get to head home now. Uh, what's the one thing that you're looking forward to the most uh, from leaving over here? I'll get to meet Joey, my son, aka my dog. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. Aww. And you know, I'll I'll eat home food, which yeah. is something I'm also <laughs> excited about. But yeah, like I'm looking forward to more events. I've got the third qualifier coming up for FGS and also the playoffs now. Obviously, the main aim will be to make it to the E World Cup. But you know, it's going to be incredibly tough facing up against 127 of the best players from the world. Yeah. But it is something I've been looking forward to a global LAN event finally and. you know to make yeah. it it's just incredible yeah what about you you know in what are you looking forward to once you get back home 
<laughs> basically food like because <laughs> i'm the south indian food a lot oh, like yeah. me too me too <laughs> i mean uh, that that that's also quite important right yeah. you, you got to feel yeah. this but uh, and, but, uh, uh, yeah you and saying? obviously family and everyone like because they miss me a lot in my house because i'm the one who spends time with each other like so they miss me a lot uh. and one more thing to say i'm really happy for saranj like because I, I, either one of us wins it's like we are going to represent the nation so whoever it is will be proud of it so i was like yeah. it is a big thing for him now he's a champion no less right yeah. you guys yeah, are champion yeah, yeah, nonetheless exactly. i mean you won the you won the trophy yesterday <laughs> this, this was just like <laughs> the fgs i mean which is which is pretty important but there are going to be multiple opportunities in the future uh, navin and saranj thank you so much for joining us both of you congratulations to both of you first of all for winning the eisl yesterday for chennai and fc navin congratulations to you to uh, becoming the mvp and saranj for you for claiming this uh, very big ticket to FGS uh, thank you so much for joining us for this interview it was a pleasure talking to both of you together cheers thank, thank you guys. guys cheers you cheers. such good things even yeah. say thank you to yeah you. this is where yeah. i remember my brother lok manyu yeah. uh, i asked this question up to him who do you think is going to take it all eh? he was uh, quite vocal he was uh, um saranj <laughs> yet so definitely missing on the de- missing him on the desk over here but seems yeah. like uh, his predictions have come true but it has oh, been yeah. such an uh, emotional journey to be honest not just with the two players with every single player coming oh, okay. in yeah. and um, Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little bit emotional. The little child in me is, you know, long tournament and everything. You just yeah. want to go back to four months ago and just relive the entire journey. Uh, we're gonna come back to that, but for now, let's have a look at the hero of the match because there were some very, very amazing goals being scored in this one. And uh, since Saranj won, he is going to be the hero of the match. Three goals scored. The second, the equalizer that came in, that was very quick. Oh. You know that that was uh, that that was something uh, of on a whole different level, right? Yeah. Especially uh, the Saranj that we saw after he scored the second goal in. That is where he looked unstoppable yeah. uh, ever since. You know, everything that Naveen tried was just all uh, foiled down. And um, I, I think this is the Saranj that uh, you know ideally you would have wanted to see on every other day because. Uh, maybe uh, it's a double wedge spot because if this saranj did come in uh, every single time then this would have been a one way competition right could have been completely one sided because yep. when we entered into the isl every uh, player that you ask who's the most threatening team they they've got that one name chennai fc and yep. eventually that did happen the journey w- l- was a little bit different they had to battle it out through the lower brackets but yep. Uh, yep. here they are getting all the glory that uh, they were entitled that uh, they deserve to have as if your take on on the same as well yeah i mean these guys they've done an absolutely fantastic job throughout the tournament and uh, as i said repeatedly uh, like it's so great that uh, both of them managed to take one individual accolade from it along with uh, the team game so uh, very very pleased for them and very sweet bunch of lads as well yeah, they've sweet, yeah. uh, they've really uh, but also very uh, intense when it comes down to it they're not sweet when you're playing against <laughs> them so uh, and uh, yeah that's what that's what uh, that's what you want from uh, from an elite e- esports athlete right somebody who's like humble and fun to talk to but also absolute killer when they have that controller in their hands when they need to be just yeah. when they need to be but for now ladies and gentlemen let's have a look at the terra virtue super moment of the match and see what this one is going to be and well this is going to be navin scoring the second goal Oh, I mean, th- this was such no, a, uh, you know, this was uh, such a nice Ooh, oh, attempt. Oh. Uh, what a miss out here! Because you know, had this, yeah. had this uh, been scored, right? Then it would have all ended right then and there, right? You could have seen uh, the, uh, the the moment, uh, the next uh, which ca- came up, but <laughs> it could have been a whole different story. <laughs> but look at Saran Jain's uh, expressions, right? Because uh, after this, uh, the dynamics could have changed, right? What they were, what Naveen had been thinking, what was going on in his mind. Because uh, um, yeah, this one little goal and that one little slip, one small mistake. I think that was yeah. all it took uh, to take away that ticket from Naveen there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it could have been a different story had that one gone in. But uh, I mean, again, let has it has been a long journey, four months inside a bubble for these lads. And you guys, I mean, again, we finally got these uh, two to meet up on the <laughs> grand finals. <laughs> you guys want to share your experience, Azim? You first. Uh, I think it's been fantastic for me. I think it's the first tournament that I've had the pleasure of uh, casting rather than uh, playing FIFA. So it was a great experience for me. Um, It's been a, a long time. We've had uh, lots of challenges through throughout the, I mean, the, the last four months with the, the distancing and this and that and the, all the, the protocols we had to follow. But uh, finally made it. I, I think the one thing that never suffered was the quality of FIFA on yeah. display. Yeah. Just 
uh, absolutely great really really great quality really really great uh, bunch of boys all 22 of them i think they all had very individual personalities very individually different people uh, a lot of different play styles we got to see as well and of course this is now the premier uh, fifa tournament in india and uh, would be for the foreseeable future with that massive prize pool as well and hopefully uh, this kick starts uh, well i hope uh, let's not fix uh, ourselves but uh, on our way to a uh, season 2 oh I mean, of course, I would love, uh, love to see season two as well. But you know, it's been such an emotional uh, journey, yeah. right? Four months of tournament uh, from a production side. It's so difficult to execute, especially what we try to do over here. You yeah. know, get all the players living in a, a bio bubble. Then you know, have them come over to the studio, play against each other. The camaraderie that had been built. You know, one of those tournaments where you could uh, not say that the, the, he's the hero or he's the villain. Or uh, you know, you've got everyone such a sweet bunch and uh, everyone's so good to talk. to you know they've been trying to make their strides they've done that and uh, you know huge shout out to to the entire production team yeah. to the organizers for yeah. actually making this happen because when i got called over for the meeting you know to discuss about this even like how are you going to pull it off and then we're going to do it and heavy are in reaching that conclusion yeah. and it has not just been uh, a single person to give credit to right every single person working behind and on the screen everyone to put it all together and especially the players you know yeah. leaving their families they're very young like 17 18 exactly. years what were we doing back then wasting our parents money <laughs> and now suddenly here they are you know making a name for themselves now they've been recognized throughout the country and uh, the potential offers that are going to be flowing their way you know yeah. a lot of other teams would be I looking mean, out for them so this is such an interesting prospect and in the grassroots levels we are evolving you never know if the season 2 comes i think this is going to be bigger than ever i mean exactly this could be the start of something massive It's a revolution yeah. exactly a revolution in the making but uh, as you guys mentioned it was a very big feat getting this all together i mean as fix as you mentioned like 17 uh, very young players starting yeah. their careers over here i mean and we we never thought we would we were going to be a part of something like this but it has been incredible and thank you guys our viewers for tuning in on a regular basis and just being so emotionally involved in all the action that was happening on the field with these lads thank you so much for tuning in to the EISL ladies and gentlemen powered by coca cola with a so see its sponsors here esports partner enormen gaming platform partner playstation digital collectible partner terra virtua this is ha- i have been your host warun super johnny john for the last two days just for the finals i was here these guys have been here for four months the entire duration azim fixes thank you so much for making this all so entertaining and so much fun to uh, fun to watch but it's time to call a night and end the show now we'll see you guys hopefully in the next season until then take care bye bye